In this video, we'll be covering the topic of bottom tracking. In SonarWiz, the bottom track is used to determine the towfish altitude above the seafloor. By bottom tracking a side scan file, you are essentially telling SonarWiz how to bridge the nadir gap, and it allows you to remove the water column from your data. In our project, I have batch imported several side scan files, I've gotten the initial colors squared away, and now I'm ready to bottom track, which sets the stage for future gain processing, navigation adjustments, contact picking, and more. Just about everything else in SonarWiz depends on a decent bottom track, so let's get started. First, I'll select a file and click Post Processing Bottom Track, which brings up this window. I'll select to sync my channels and bottom track both the port and starboard sides at the same time because I know my transducers were close together. Next, I'll select the threshold detection algorithm because it is better at establishing a good bottom track when the topography is varied and I've noticed some boulders in the nadir region of this file and the water column looks fairly clear. Then I'll set some initial values for blanking, duration, and threshold and click track. A quick scroll through the file shows us that we are missing the bottom in a few different locations. It seems as though our track is penetrating too far into the seafloor, so I'll dial our threshold back to 5 because threshold determines how bright the bottom return pixels must be compared to the water column. There's not much noise in the water column, so I can reduce the duration back as well. I'll set it to 1 because duration is the pixel size in a sample that represents a legitimate bottom return. Finally, I know that this survey was taken at relatively shallow depths, so I'll set our blanking to 2 because blanking sets the minimum distance away from the sonar head that the bottom tracker will search for the seabed. I'll hit track again, and another scroll through shows us a clean track throughout. Then I'll just click save, and the window automatically closes out. When I reopen the side scan menu option, you'll notice that the file name is in bold. Every time a file receives an initial bottom track, it will become bold in this Project Explorer window. I like the way that looks, and I believe those settings should work well for the rest of my files too. So, rather than opening and tracking every single file, SonarWiz allows you to batch bottom track files. To do that, simply select Post Processing, File Manager, Batch Bottom Track. You should see all of the settings that were used on the last file, you can select whichever combination of files you prefer, and then click Track Selected Files. And that's all you need to batch bottom track. Thanks for watching.